22nd chapter this morning, Genesis chapter 22. Bibles are there in the pews for you if you want to get one of those, open it up and follow along with me. It will be so important as we look at God's Word together this morning. The events of Isaac's life teach every one of us four of the greatest lessons that a believer could ever learn. We look at his father Abraham. He enrolls in the school of faith at age 75. He's over 100 years old and he's still having these soul-stretching experiences. I want to point out that you're never, never, never too old to face new challenges, to fight new battles. When we stop learning new truths, that's when we stop growing. And when we stop growing, that's when we stop living. And some of you have encountered individuals who have, who have stopped growing. It's not a pretty sight, is it? To see a human being walking around literally dead on the inside. For the first 40 years of life, we are given a text. And then the next 30 years, we're given the commentary. For a faithful follower of Jesus Christ, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse number 4 says, The just shall live by faith. And the commentary is being written as we live and listen to God's voice and obey His directions every day of our life. It's sad to say that some people understand neither the text nor the commentary. And they live their lives really bouncing from one thought to another, one stimulus package to another. In Genesis chapter number 22, it records one of the greatest tests of Abraham and Isaac, one of the greatest events that took place in their entire life. It presents a beautiful picture of the Lord's sacrificial death on Calvary's cross. But the, but the main lesson that I want you to get at today is obedient faith. Obedient faith. Say it with me. Obedient faith. It's that obedient faith that overcomes the trials of this life. And here Abraham and Isaac teach us how to face and handle the test of life all to the glory of God. Four simple lessons this morning. They're not calculus classes. They're not, uh, they're not going to be advanced chemistry. They're not going to be biology. It's not going to be zoology. It's not going to be anything really difficult this morning. Matter of fact, most of you this morning are going to be able to say, you know, I have, I have learned those four lessons. If you haven't, I want to start you on that journey today. Read with me Genesis chapter 22, beginning in verse number 1. Sometime later, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, here am I, he replied. God said, take your son, your only son Isaac, to whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains I'll tell you about. Early the next morning, Abraham got up, he saddled his donkey, and he took with him two of his servants and his own son, Isaac. And when they had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he sent out for the place that God had told him about. And on the third day, Abraham looked up and he, he saw the place of the distance. And he said to his servants, stay here with the donkey, while I and the boy go over there. We will worship, and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering, and he placed it on his son Isaac, and he himself
himself carried the fire and the knife. And as the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Father, yes, my son Abraham replied, the fire and the wood are here. But where is the land for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the land for the burnt offering, my son. Then the two of them went on together. And when they reached the place that God had told them about, Abraham built an altar, and there he arranged the wood on it. And he bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. And then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham! Here am I, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God, because you have not withheld from me your son your only son. And Abraham looked up, and there in the thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. And he went over and he took the ram and he sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. And so Abraham called the place the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven the second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of cities of their enemies. And through your offspring, all nations on the earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. And then Abraham returned to his servants and they set off together for Beersheba. And Abraham stayed in Beersheba. Obedient faith. Say it again. Obedient faith. Father, as we look to your word, open our hearts and minds. May we see as you would have us to see. Help us to hear, Father, from you. Give us direction this day for our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I said four lessons. Remember? Four lessons. Number one. Lesson number one. Lesson number one. And I think that I have said this all the way back to the time I was teaching the, the eight-year-old boys class at Gideon Baptist Church in Warren, Michigan. This one thing you need to know. That just because that you're a believer doesn't mean that your life is going to be smooth sailing. Anyone want to say amen? Amen to that. Anyone, and I, by the way, I said most of you have already learned these lessons, haven't you? How many of you have learned that lesson? Just because you're a believer doesn't mean that life is going to greet you with angels in the morning. Singing your praises. As you wake up, that they will spread rose petals at your feet and have prepared for you the greatest of adventures of a lifetime. Well, it might be the greatest of adventures of a lifetime, but the biggest thing that you'll have to 